Hello guys, this is Chris from Simple Techie and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So, it's been a while since nakapag-update tayo ng video about sa GPP or Semi Factory Unlocking. So, this in this video guys, I will try to explain it on Taglish, meaning I will speak on Tagalog and I will try my best to speak in English so everyone could understand the purpose of this video or the content of this video. Without further ado, let's start and um, roll the intro. So guys, please continue sharing and subscribing to this YouTube channel. So, let's go back to our topic for today. So, ngayon guys, meron ako ditong iPhone 5S. So, medyo matagal din bago nakapag semi factory unlock ng iPhone 5S. And as you all know, it is not easy to semi factory unlock iPhone 5S, iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. So, the process is we need to jailbreak the device, we need to install Cydia, we need to install um, Apple File Conduit, and we need to fake the iOS version of our device. So, sa video na to guys, hindi ko na tatalakayin yun kasi palagay ko kung sinusundan nyo yung mga videos ko, napanood nyo na rin yun. So, you can visit my YouTube channel and watch our video about semi-factory unlock. So, eto siya. 10 months ago, nag-upload ako kung paano mag-semi-FU. You can watch it guys and you can follow the directions about fake iOS your iPhone 5S 6 or iPhone 6 Plus. Anyway guys, this method will work on iPhone 6, iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, and iPhone 6 Plus only. If you have 64-bit devices like iPhone 6S and above, uh, you don't need to do this method anymore. Okay? Hindi mo na kailangan mag-fake mag iOS pag um, higher devices. Kailangan mo lang to guys sa iPhone 5S, 6, and 6 Plus dahil mga 32-bit devices to at saka hanggang iOS 12.5 lang to I guess. Hanggang dun lang talaga yung maabot na. In this method kasi it is required that our device is updated in the latest iOS version um, iOS 15.2. So, okay guys. If you don't know how to how to fake iOS your device, just watch this video na nasa description at i-fake iOS yung device ninyo gamit yung 3U tools, madali lang naman yon. basta may PC kayo at kaya yung sumunod sa instructions, kaya kaya ninyong gawin yon. tapos bumalik kayo sa video na to, dahil diretso na tayo sa proseso so papakita ko muna sa inyo yung iPhone 5S na to guys, ang iPhone 5S na to is okay tinan natin sa settings in general Supposed to be, dapat iOS 12.5 lang to Pero, dahil nga naka-fake iOS tayo, makikita nyo na itong iPhone 5S na to is naka-iOS 15.2. And also guys, in this method, we need to have a GPP chip. Version 12.4, at least um, editable ICC ID. If you don't have a new GPP chip that has a pop-up menu, you can use your old GPP chip at least version 12 and use your factory unlock iPhone to edit the ICC ID before using the GPP chip. Make sure that you have the latest ICC ID. If you want to know where to find the latest ICC ID, just go to slick2buy.com and you will have the latest ICC ID, which is this website. So, as you can see, iPhone 6 Plus, 6, 5S, 5, and 5C, this is the method that will work for those devices. First, we need to jailbreak the device. Second, we need to install Cydia and Apple File Conduit. You can watch it, the process, like, just like what I have said. So, once nagawa na natin mag-fake iOS, guys, gagaya na nakikita nyo ngayon, naka-fake iOS na tayo. Para nga pala ma-verify sa inyo, guys, na hindi gumagana yung SIM dito, even if we have um, GPP chip. Itong GPP chip na to, guys, is updated na yung ICC ID nito. Papakita ko muna sa inyo kung gumagana yung SIM. Okay, so kita nyo, no service and activation. Press natin yung home. Continue natin. And let's check kung mag activate yung SIM card. So as you can see guys, we have an error here. It says that um, unable to activate. So as you can see, we already have a signal but still, 
sim not supported error that's it we don't have a sig um, we have a signal but sim not supported error okay so it already detected our sim cards because it says no service but still we are in activation now it has a signal and let's try if we could we could activate this device since we already have a fake iOS on this iPhone 5s and I updated ICC ID on our GPP chip but still we have this error sim not supported so as you can see guys ito yung error na lumalabas ngayon kaya kung sinusundan nyo yung mga old videos ko about sa GPP mapapansin nyo guys na hindi nyo ito gumagana dahil na rin sa ewan ko kung anong ginawa ng Apple para ma-block yung way ng pag sa semi FU natin ng ganun so ngayon sundan natin yung proseso so um, I hope meron na kayong GPP chip na updated ang IC sa ID at naka fake iOS na yung inyong mga iPhones next thing to do is to download the Proton VPN so just go to their website type Proton Proton VPN click get Proton VPN now so we just need the free version if you have an account guys you can log into your account but if you haven't just create your own account it looks like I already have an account before okay so that's it I have my account then what we need to do now is to download it using Windows download Proton VPN that is exe file and it is 22.3 22 megabytes just open it and install it so if you don't have net framework 4.7 you, you need to install it but since I already have it um, it is already installed so I will skip it this these files are important for the Proton VPN to work properly so just uh, be patient and uh, wait until it's successfully installed okay guys so na install na natin yung Proton VPN kaya di nagka problema dun ako sa web view na yun ewan kong niskip ko na lang din hindi naman siguro kailangan yun so try natin kung wala magiging problema okay so welcome on board thanks for using Proton skip lang natin yan so ang kailangan natin gawin dito guys is to search for United States yan hanapin yung United States dito sa left side click nyo lang tong arrow na to drop menu yan tapos may mga server tayong free hindi mo naman kailangan ng upgraded server pwede kayo pumili kahit ano dyan so pili na lang natin tong server 4 tapos click nyo yung connect and wait natin makakonect yung ating VPN so dapat guys connected na kayo nakalagay connected yan ibig sabihin yung PC natin ngayon is um, naka naka custom IP tayo gamit ang United States IP kung ito yung pinaka mahalaga dun guys sa trick natin ngayon sasya na kayo medyo madalian lang yung video na to medyo antok pa nga ako ngayon <laughs> galing kami sa labas kasi okay so gawin na natin to Make sure na connected kayo sa connected na yung VPN ninyo sa United States and then naka-ready na yung GPP chip na updated ang ICC ID sa kanyang SIM card na gagamitin yung any SIM card pero hindi pa natin isa cellphone. Make sure guys na kung naka-connect yung wifi yung device ninyo sa Wi-Fi make sure guys na i-disconnect niyo yung Wi-Fi or i-forget niyo. Mas maganda kung i-forget niyo yung Wi-Fi. Okay, saan na ba yung wifi natin dito? Ayan, wifi. If of, if forget natin yung wifi. Forget this network. Ang purpose guys kasi kailangan natin mag-activate ng ating device sa iTunes. Hindi dito sa ating device. So, click natin yung ano, forget. And so, make sure na walang wifi network na nakakonect dito. 
And then, susunod natin gagawin guys is to open iTunes. Kung wala pa kayong iTunes, install nyo lang yung iTunes guys sa inyong PC. Okay, open yung iTunes. And make sure guys na ang um, gaya nga ng sabi ko sa inyo, nakakonect pa rin kayo. Miminimize ko muna tong Proton VPN. Mahalaga connected tayo dyan. And then, gagawin natin guys is sasalpak natin ngayon itong ating SIM card. Ayan. With GPP. So, may kita nyo guys, no service. May kita nyo, hihingi ito ng activation. Pero hindi natin ma-activate kasi nga wala tayong network. So, may kita nyo guys, meron na rin itong signal. So, ang gagawin natin guys is Nasalpak natin to sa PC natin na naka-open yung iTunes. Also guys, make sure na naka-logout yung Find My iPhone ninyo para walang hassle pagdating sa Apple ID or sa iCloud. Okay. So, ito yung error na lumalabas sa atin. Kagawin natin guys is pag ganyan lumabas guys is reboot muna tayo. Mag-reboot tayo. Pwede hindi ito gumana sa first try guys, pero ulit-ulitin lang natin. Okay guys, so nag-reboot na siya, no? Pero hindi pa rin siya binabasa ng computer natin. So, yun pa rin yung error na lumalabas dito sa ating um, iTunes. Okay guys, so try ulit tayo kasi kanina eh, nagloko. Ayaw talaga niya mag-activate na naman. So, okay. Connected ulit tayo sa US this time. And... Open na rin natin iTunes. Ayan. And then, salpak ulit natin itong ating iPhone. Unsupported pa rin talaga. Okay guys, so in-edit ko lang yung ICC ID nito kasi it turns out na hindi updated yung gamit ko kanina. So check natin ulit sa Google to guys. So check ulit natin sa Google guys. So may kita nyo, yan o, 5379. Lumalabas dito yung ICC ID, 5379 din. Yan. So updated na to. Now, gawin natin, connect tayo ng United States. Gaya ng ginagawa natin kanina. So, once connected na tayo, open natin yung iTunes. Oh, Naka-open na siya guys. So, bubunutin ko lang ulit. And then, nasel pa ko lang ulit. So, titignan natin kung yun. So, ayaw pa rin niya. For some reasons, hindi ko rin alam kung bakit. No? Try natin ulit. So, ayaw talaga niya. Yun. Nakailang retry ako, guys. So, ginto lang ginawa natin. Hambira. Dito lang nakita yung actual, no? Pero, bunot-saksak lang tayo. Bunot-saksak. And then, una, nakadalawang beses lumabas yung um, unsupported sim. Pero, eventually, sa pangatlong time is, ayun, nag-activate na. So, bunutin ko siya ulit. So, kina natin guys, no? May TM sim na tayo, nakalagay. And, ito yung phone natin. Binabasa na rin ng iTunes natin yung phone. So, to verify na gumagana talaga yung sim, bubunutin ko siya ulit. So, may kita nyo, no sim. Salpak uli siya. So, first time ko itong ginawa ulit yung proseso na to kaya medyo nangangapa din ako. Pero, ayun, gumagana yung tricks guys. So, no service. So, makikita nyo, TM, hindi na siya humingi ng activation. ba diba? Astig. So, tatry naman natin ngayon tanggalin yung... Nag-record ba? Kala ko hindi nag-record. So, tanggalin naman natin yung GPP chip. So, makikita nyo, may GPP chip pa yan. Ayan. Tapos, ibalik natin. SIM card lang, walang GPP. 
to verify kung naka semi FU tayo guys so yun guys may kita nyo naka TM tayo semi FU okay so that's it successful yung ating proseso so malaking tulong to sa inyo guys na mga nagtatanong kung naka iPhone 5S kayo iPhone 6 iPhone 6 plus at gusto nyo mag semi factory unlock may mga tutorial ngayon sa YouTube na gumagana gamit ang AT&T SIM card. So, sa proseso natin na to, hindi na natin kailangan ng AT&T saan tayo maghahagilap nun kung nasa Pilipinas tayo. Ang kailangan na natin is Proton VPN na free nyo lang download at magagamit. At, um, kailangan nyo lang sundan yung mga instructions sa bibigyan natin. Kailangan nyo rin ng PC. So, guys, para gumana yung mga application ngayon dito, syempre, kagaya nung unang mga videos na upload ko, kailangan natin ibalik sa normal iOS version itong ating iPhone 5S. Pero hindi ko na yun papakita sa inyo kasi agahaba pa masyado yung video na to. Panoorin nyo na lang yung video ko, yung dati yan nasa description. Uh, mapapanood nyo doon kung paano ibabalik sa normal. Gamit uli yung 3U tools. Kung paano nyo pinalitan yung iOS version nyo gamit ang 3U tools, ganun din yung gagawin ninyo para ibalik yung original version ng iPhone ninyo at yung model version ng iPhone ninyo gamit din ang Trio Tools. So, kung nakatulog sa inyong video na to, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo palagi sa mga videos na upload ko in the future. And, um, it's me again, Simple Techie, always reminding everyone that technology is not that complicated. Happy New Year everyone! Sana naging pamasko to sa inyo na makakapanood ng video na to. Peace out and God bless! Bye-bye!